Hey folks, so a friend printed me these bag tags and straps on his Bamboo Lab printer in TPU. So of course that piqued my curiosity as to whether or not this used Cobra Neo would be able to do the same thing. So if you have a closer look at this bag tag, I mean it looks fantastic. I'm so impressed with the edges and the lettering is crisp and there's no drag marks. The strap is beautiful finish on both sides, very flexible. I've inserted it and removed it numerous times. It locks in place. I mean, this is really, really something, you know. So let's find out if I can do a repeat on this Cobra Neo. Before I get started, I just wanted to let you know that today I'm going to share the testing and the results. I'm going to share uh, an easy filament loading technique that I developed while testing. And then the last thing, at the end of the video, if you're interested to stick around that long, I have a question for you related to slicing this and the text that is being printed. I'm hoping that you will stick around and that you'll share your experience any tips and tricks that you've come across if you'll share those in the description it would be appreciated all right so before i get started with the results check out this filament loading technique so here i'm going to show you a little filament loading technique that i came up with where i just cut the filament on an angle and i'm sure you all do that but with the flexibility of this it's harder to push it through so what i do when i'm pushing it through is i'm going to rotate it back and forth between my fingertips as i insert it so i'm pulling the clip back i push it into the nozzle okay i've got it into a certain point where it's going to catch on an edge now i'm just going to rotate it gently back and forth as i push so i'm also using it as a way to bleed out the color out of the nozzle between color changes and there we have it so for those of you who have seen some of my other videos you know that I love to start by test printing a brim so I did exactly that I did a little bit of dialing in and I test printed this brim and it came out beautiful I mean it's translucent uh, it's very very smooth it's consistent it's very strong you can really stretch it in both directions without it breaking so this brim came out terrific great platform to start from but I ran into some other challenges and I will share those challenges with you now so here we have that brim that I love printing so much that I I always do it takes 10 minutes before I start any testing and now for the results starting from the left here and working my way across and then the bottom row and I've left out the final results because I'll share that at the very very end this is the bamboo lab results and although if you really really look you can see the lines but at a distance you cannot see that the letters are crisp this thing is it's it's dynamite i mean it's really really nice the edges are clean and smooth you know so let's start with my results which i started off by i did some reading and i was told you know you want to reduce the retraction length because you don't want to risk the uh ending up with a, a nozzle clog and as you can see i mean i've got some retraction issues here uh it's pretty rough the edges i had to clean off a whole bunch of little bits and pieces so i normally run at four millimeters of retraction this is one millimeter of retraction and honestly there's some globs etc that aren't really great and i have a little detail at the end of the video that i'll ask you so forget about that one the next one I ended up doing two millimeters of retraction thinking okay one millimeter I mean it didn't work out so well two should be pretty safe but the edges are not clean there's lots of little strands and drag marks on it uh, you know so the Z offset was consistent throughout so but I'll get to that so two millimeters didn't work so then I tried my standard four millimeters and it looks pretty good but there's still some uh, retraction issues and a glob on it so I was like okay I was running at 205 that I do for most of the products that I run and it's still no good so then I tried and just because the colors I have to change the colors over so I left this one in and so this one I repeated it in the reverse order just to see what I was getting and I can actually see 
openings between the letters and even the frame. So the white on the black, you know, gave me a little bit of a hint of going, hmm, maybe my temperature's too low. So then I decided that I would try 210 with a four millimeter retraction. I was still having retraction issues. I mean, it looks pretty good. Doesn't look as good as that bamboo lab yet, but the edges were crisper, so it's still pretty good. So then I tried a repeat of the four millimeters at 220, and I still have retraction issues, and it's not bad. I mean, the edges are pretty good. Then I tried uh, moving my Z offset closer by like 0 0.04 just to see what it might give and it did not make much difference so I had to sit back and scratch my head and think about it a little bit and I ended up breaking out the nozzle and looking at it and I thought why do people tell you to have such a short retraction distance when the nozzle is well in my case here the nozzle is 12 and a half millimeters long so if I'm retracting the filament back by four millimeters, I mean, that's just, that's one third. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to try taking it farther and I'm just chose seven randomly and ended up producing this. So this here is actually really, really good in my opinion. I mean, there's a lot less retraction. This is not as good as that bamboo lab. Uh, but it's definitely the best that I've produced so far. It's the smoothest. The letters are the most crisp. I no longer have the issue of having a blob at the bottom of the U, which I was having before. So this here is a small cleanup, and this is pretty dynamite. It's definitely not as good as this bamboo lab. This is crisp and clean. I mean, you know, so as soon as I get my bamboo lab, I'm going to be trying out my friend's file on my bamboo lab and see how that goes. So I told you that I would have a question for you, and it's a curious question. With this printer, I have to do a filament change in the slicer. And when I slice this, I end up with the last layer that is supposed to be solid color that it ends up laying down the outline of the text then it fills all around the text and then it fills the center of the text that is one layer and you can see that in this video that's playing right here and it's just looping just so that you'll be able to see what i'm talking about has anybody ever encountered this or do you know why it does it so please share because i feel that this may impact the quality of the text by ending up with an uneven surface for the black layer of text to start on. So I've shared links to the filament that I'm using in the description below. I found these two filaments to be reasonably priced on Amazon and they both seem to perform well. It's just a matter of dialing it in on this printer. Just as an FYI, I am testing on this printer but I do have a bamboo lab on the way and I will be testing on that printer as soon as it arrives.